Well, Air Gunners, here it is. A lot of you have been requesting this on the forums, wanting to see more information, and here it is in the flesh, the DAISY 599. It is the latest installment of the DAISY line, and it was released just around the holidays for consumption here in the United States. Uh, some of you may have already realized, if you've been doing your research, that this is a similar or essentially the same rifle that BSA has just introduced around March. Uh, known as the Silver Star. Uh, the BSA version is a little bit different, and I'll get to that here in a little bit. But the DAISY 599 is available in just .177 caliber. Comes with a cis under six foot pound removable air cylinder. Uh, has a fill port here that comes with the probe, of course. If you do buy this rifle, you wanna make sure that you go ahead and get the quick disconnect to add to that Pro because it is not does not come with one. Also comes with the adjustable cheek riser, adjustable for the length of pull, as well as the shoulder pad is adjustable for up and down, really to allow you to give you that exact line of sight that you want through the diopter sights for when you're shooting offhand and uh, trying to get the, that, that bullseye that you are aiming for. Some other nice things, it has stippling, has the daisy name uh, stippled right into the front, laser engraved, as well as uh, the grip is stippled. And the trigger itself has five different methods of adjustability. So first and foremost, the blade on the trigger is adjustable to the left or to the right, so you can adjust it to uh, your specifications. Also, of course, the length of pull on the first stage is adjustable. Your sear engagement is adjustable. And then, of course, the second stage weight is adjustable, as well as the over travel is also adjustable. Uh, and those are all four separate different screws that are located and housed underneath the stock here. Um, you can get to them with the stock on, but I would highly suggest taking it off. So much easier to do. Uh, also, the breech itself in this area up here is very well thought of because it's meant for not only the 10 meter shooter, but they give you a dovetail rail here that is more than adequate for mounting a scope onto. And when I did my testing out to 25 yards, I did want to mount a scope and, and did. Um, I went ahead and mounted this MTC Mamba Ultralight uh, four by, or excuse me, three by 10 and lighted reticle side focus right here on the side. Great little scope for this rifle or this size rifle. So uh, something to consider when you're buying a DAISY 599 if you want to scope it to do some mini sniping and so forth. The package of DAISY Senza does come with the standard diopter sights, uh, which are great for indoor plinking, 10 meter shooting, uh, etc. So also the, the Breach port here is of a very nice size, uh, allows me to get my hands in there and load the pellet. Uh, so it's not just meant for kids. And of course comes with a, a very modern T-bolt handle uh, for cocking. And of course, with a bolt pulled back and pull trigger pull, I can go ahead and decock the rifle. And again, it is in safe mode. So um, some very nice aspects there. And then also the safety right here on this, the left-hand side of the stock. So very nice, uh, very nicely done. Uh, let's take a look at how this differs from the BSA Silver Star that I mentioned earlier. The big thing is that the Silver Star is also available in .22 caliber, as well as it comes with a, the option of two different cylinders. So when you get the DAISY 599 and you're reading the directions, one of the things that you'll notice is it says power configurable air cylinder. And when this first came out, there wasn't much information on the internet. So I went ahead and contacted my friends over at DAISY and said, what does this mean? Because I'm looking at the air cylinder, I'm looking at the valve and the valve is housed within the cylinder here. And how do I configure? How do I, how can I change the power of this? And they said, it's not actually the valve is power configurable. So the entire cylinder can either come in two different versions, a six foot pound version or a 12 foot pound version. And DAISY right now is only bringing in the six foot pound versions of this air cylinder. I'm hoping that DAISY will eventually bring the 12 foot pound version because that will then allow this rifle a whole nother avenue of shooting, uh, especially if you're looking at a uh, world field target uh, at that 12 foot pounds and under uh, classification, you could take it to the world field target matches and use it there and really allow 
kids to graduate and move from 10 meter shooting into some world field target shooting or just field target shooting over the summertime when they're out of school because we know a lot of the JROTC programs are doing their shooting during the school year. So uh, let's add some more options to this and let's uh, help the sport grow. I hope Daisy's listening. I really hope you allow us the opportunity to have that 12 foot pound cylinder. If not, I'm sure that there are going to be distributors in Europe that will be willing to send us the 12 foot pound versions, I'm hoping. Uh, so at least you have that option. Some other things, uh, the accessory rail on the bottom here, you can see I have the bipod attached. Uh, when I was doing my shooting, I tried to take as much human error out of it. Uh, so I went ahead and, and attached my bipod to the accessory rail that is down here. And again, I'm using the AccuTac uh, bipod rail. A lot of you asked when I did my Brocock review, um, what, uh, what bipod was I using? It's the AccuTac bipod here. So let's take a look also at some chronograph data. And, and as usual, I have the chronograph data posted there. And I was able to get uh, over 150 shots on this small air cylinder, uh, shooting at just under six foot pounds of energy. And some interesting things, you can kind of look at that chronograph data, you can kind of divide it into thirds. And you can kind of see that the power uh, stays within a certain band for the first third, second third, and third third of that power uh, cycle or that shot cycle for this um, cylinder. And so it's around 540 feet per second for the first, 550 feet per second for the second, and between 555 and 560 feet per second on that third and final uh, round of shooting, about 30 shots there. So uh, something to keep in mind now, if you're shooting this at 10 meters, none of that really matters because at 10 meters, uh, from my experience, my shot by shot count is not going to change. My point of impact is not going to change based on that small of an increase a um, feet per second. So not something that you, if you're just going to be st strictly shooting this uh, indoors, 10 meter matches, not something that you need to worry about. Uh, just remember you got 152 shots. So the cylinder should be able to last you an entire match. And if not, remember the air cylinder is removable so you can get extras and bring them with you. So you don't have to worry about bringing large tanks and so forth. Also in the package, speaking of the air cylinder, Daisy does send replacement O-rings. Uh, so it is something that if you were to have some difficulty with the air cylinder or to spring a leak during a match or while you're at home, uh, Daisy does provide those for you as well. So that's always something that we like to see. Let's talk about accuracy now. Of course, this has the hammer forged barrel from BSA, which is known for having superb accuracy in a 10 meter off the bipod. I'm not even going to waste your time. It was a joke. 10, or excuse me, 10 meters, hole on hole, five shot groups all day long, nothing to worry about. So I wanted to expand it out just a little bit further, see what we're doing at under six foot pounds. And again, using very light pellets at 7.87 grain pellets out of this, I found that the JSB Exact Express were the most accurate at that range. And remember, under six foot pounds, seven grain pellets, the wind is going to play a factor here. But I was able to do five shot groups at just at 0.33 inches center to center uh, consistently with this air rifle. I think if, if I had practiced more with it uh, in that setting, as well as gotten a little better wind conditions, probably almost hole on hole at 25 yards would not be a problem and not not something to, to uh, even you know blink at uh, out of this equipment here. So I wouldn't be doing this justice though if I didn't go ahead and take this out to a 10 meter match here in Columbus, Ohio. And I went to my local German club known as Germania. And for those of you in Columbus, it's on South Front Street. If you're not, you're coming through, they have matches once a month. You may want to swing by, never know. Uh, they also have loaner rifles there that you can use. and. I had been shooting my uh, 10 shot, um, yeah, 10 shots at, at, at 10 meters and scoring in the mid to high 50s. Uh, never broke a 60 before. And like I said, it's good practice. I'm not the best 10 meter shooter, but the first time out, I broke 60 with this rifle, came in third place overall uh, for those shooters who are participating in the traditional standing event. Uh, we do have some shooters that are of age that are using a, a standing, but also using a stand to rest the rifle on the front. But uh, so third place, I was thrilled with that, got beat out by second. 
the second place finisher by 0.3, a score of 0.3. So um, I was thrilled and so close to second place. Glad to see, can't wait to see what this rifle has in store for me for the rest of the season because it's going to be a lot of fun to shoot, I think. Um, so whether you are a high school shooter, whether you're an adult looking to participate in a informal or even formal indoor shooting match, want to practice your offhand shooting for field target, practice for bench rest, and yes, I say bench rest shooting offhands because you're going to be practicing not only your breathing, improving your core strength, and also working on that trigger pull because all three of those things you need to have dialed in to be a good offhand shooter. And of course, if you have them dialed in for offhand shooting, it will, those skills will transfer to bench rest, field target, plinking, and whatever else you are doing with your air gun, uh, even hunting. So keep that in mind. This air rifle is a great option to add to your collection. It is one that I plan to hold on for quite some time shoot it at my local competitions, practice indoors in the off season for field target, and just have a good time doing it. And one of my favorite things to do with 10 meter rifles, a little mini sniping. So without further ado guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Hit that subscribe button before you leave, please. I'm, I think I need like 150 more subscribers or hit the thousand mark. And until next time, May your trigger pull stay full smooth and your pellets fly straight. And we're going to see you right here on the Airgun Advisor.